All right, what we got here is something a little bit special today. Now, out of full transparency, normally what happens is a company will reach out to me and ask me to do a review of their battery. But in this case, I actually reached out to this ERY or E R Y Y company because they had a specific battery that I was looking for for a special project for the channel. I reached out to them, explained what the project was all about, and they were kind enough to send one over. So I'm going to make this a pretty quick video here because there's going to be multiple videos on this battery. Uh, so this is just going to be a quick unboxing and a capacity test to make sure that it does and has what it says it does. Check it out. Alright, got a piece of foam here. Not a battery. And uh, no manual or nothing else. So, what's special about this is this is a standard group 31 size and it is 160 amp hours. So it's a lithium iron phosphate, 12.8 volt, 160 amp hour from Uri. Uri. I don't know. The manufacturer's name, uh, official website, contact information. Some warnings and cautions and stuff. And that's pretty much it. There's a little screen on here. I've got some weird terminal bolts, or actually terminal screws with a uh, little Phillips head on there. Yeah, I don't think I like that. I think I'll switch those out for some standard M8. Uh, bolt uh, again a couple dollars on Amazon I don't really care uh, this is currently on their website for a pretty good deal uh, it says it's $285 but I'm not sure what's going on when you add it to your cart and then you go to check out it says the price has been reduced to $266 and that is taxes and shipping included which is kind of cool I like it when they roll the taxes together so you just kind of know exactly what you're getting I think it's a pretty good deal for 266 bucks for 160 amp hours and like I said the unique nature is that it's a group 31 size and we'll get into why that is important in uh, later on in the video so like I said this is gonna be a quick video of a capacity test this does not have cold temperature protection or anything like that no Bluetooth or none of the fancy stuff it's a basic 160 amp hour battery and that's what's important can we get our 160 amp hours out of here and that's what we're gonna find out I'm going to quickly pause this video for a moment and ask you to subscribe to the YouTube channel. So go ahead and click that subscribe button and the like button as well while you're at it. Then ring that notification bell to get, to get notifications. I'd really appreciate it. Now let's get back to it. Let's get this hooked up uh, to the charger. Charge it all the way up and uh, run a capacity test real quick. And then we'll talk about it at the end. All right, let's go ahead and get this off the charger here and get this capacity test started. And I set this up here to uh, 165 amp hours because we're going to go ahead and see if we can get over this 160. And if not, well, we'll do the math and figure out exactly what we got. I packed my bags, traded my suit for some denim, pepper city lights, started living on a wheel. No more concrete jungle, no more city strife Just me and my solar panels living the simple life yeah. Off the green in the Arizona sun Living free, my journey's just begun No more hustle and bustle, no more crowded streets I found my freedom where the desert meets the heat All right, so this passed our capacity test with flying colors, and I had set it up to see if we can get 165 amp hours out of this. I've gotten pretty good at kind of guesstimating. I've found that most of these, either three to five amp hours over the rated capacity, 100 amp hours usually can you can get 103 out of them, and at 200 amp hours you can usually get about 105. So I set it to 105, thinking it was going to get just under 
165, but it actually pulled the full 165. Uh, and it was starting to yell at me right at the end there. Uh, so it was it barely did 165. But hey, anything over 160 is passing the test. And that's what matters to me. So the cons of this battery are a couple. These uh, terminal bolts, I'm not happy with, uh, with that at all. You can't hardly get anything to clamp onto here. If you just wanted it for a basic battery, I, what I don't like is that you can't torque this down with a screwdriver. And it's the huge size, I'm not even sure what they call that, the very large Phillips head screw driver, which I don't even have one. And then this, uh, this meter here, which they've installed upside down, in my opinion, uh, it, it's pretty much worthless. That, that's for like a uh, lead acid or AGM battery or something where you can tell the capacity based on the voltage. That doesn't work on a lithium iron phosphate battery. So I didn't care about this to start with and I still don't care about it. I just intend to turn that off and uh, not even use it. So if that's important to you, know that that's uh, maybe an issue. But uh, I think it'd be better off without even having it on there. But you know, hey, it's in there, so whatever. This is currently on their website for a pretty good deal. Uh, it says it's $285, but I'm not sure what's going on when you add it to your cart. And then you go to check out, it says the price has been reduced to $266, and that is taxes and shipping included, which is kind of cool. I like it when they roll the taxes together, so you just kind of know exactly what you're getting. I think it's a pretty good deal for $266 for 160 amp hours. So, uh, I'll put links to this stuff down in the description below, and you can pick this up uh, direct from their website, like I said, which tax-free and uh, free shipping, and then it's also available at Amazon, and I'll put links to that as well down below. I'm pretty happy with it. I think it's a pretty good deal, and it does have a specific use that I'm going to talk about in an upcoming video, uh, and probably a series of videos, actually. So uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to find out what that's all about. That's classified. It's what? It's classified. And why I would want a 160 amp hour battery, which is kind of an unusual size. So thanks to the Erie folks over there for sending this over for me to test it out. And uh, I'll be uh, talking about this battery a little bit more in a video in the next couple videos here uh, as we move on to doing some new kind of content that I'm gonna do here on the channel. That's classified. So be sure to subscribe if you want to hear about that stuff. And uh, that's it for this video, and I'll see you in the next one.